All right, so I want to show off a couple items here, brand new items for Camp Chef, things that we're really excited about, and so far the people that have seen them and used them are just as excited, if not more excited, than we are at Camp Chef. Uh, one is this thing right here in front of you, uh, the aluminum Dutch oven, the long-awaited aluminum Dutch oven. Really neat piece. Uh, it's got a, a higher raised lid on it, unlike our uh, classic, so it's got a unique there. But like I said, it's aluminum, so this thing weighs about six and a half pounds, whereas something cast iron the same size would weigh probably 23, 24 pounds, so about a fourth of the weight. Really, really cool. Hard anodized. Um, just a neat piece, and we're really excited about that. It's got a great mountain scene on it. So that's certainly one item I want to show off and we're going to use today. And the other one we'll get to in just a minute. I'll keep you waiting, and you may have already seen something and are scratching your head wondering what it is. We'll get to it in just a minute. Today, though, I wanted to do uh, a cobbler. Dump cake cobbler. One of the simplest, easiest things out there. It's certainly not my invention, and I am not, the, you know, there's, there's people that do it all the time. Real easy, but I want to take cans of peach filling, can of raspberry filling. I love peaches, I love raspberry, so I combine them both and I make one of my favorite dump cakes. Uh, and the reason why it's called a dump cake is pretty easy to see. You do just that. You just dump the stuff right into the, the bottom of the Dutch oven there. Uh, and as you do that, you can kind of spread them around or whatever. Uh, this is a 12 inch oven, so I'm going to use total three cans of uh, pie filling. I've got two of the peach, one of the raspberry to add a little bit of color to it and uh, definitely some flavor. But So you're going to add that around, add everything in that can. I've even used um, just regular old peaches. If I do one can of peach pie filling, it's got the, the sweet and everything. I'll even, I've even done just one can of regular old peaches and it's worked well as a combination with the two. Next, just go to a yellow uh, cake mix. Real simple and easy and I'm going to do a couple boxes of those actually is what I'm going to do. And I just want to spread that evenly around in there. And as, as I said earlier, as the name alludes to, it is a dump cake and that's exactly what we're going to do is we're just going to keep dumping stuff in here. Um, and that, I, that's just one of my favorites. So I really, when I have people over and I'm, and you know, I'm, we're having a party or hosting whatever, part of the fun is, is to be able to socialize with them and certainly part of the fun is to show off all the different things you can do. So jiggle it back and forth, that'll kind of even things out in there. Um, then we're going to take Sprite 7-Up, whatever you've got, whatever ever kind of lemon lime. Now this is a full liter. We're not going to use this full liter. We're actually going to use probably 15 to 17 ounces. So just a little bit more than what you would get in a uh, can. Going to pour that kind of over that. That's going to give us our liquid to help that cake come up. Kind of eyeball it, as a, as a good friend of mine calls it. His He calls it the Orso method. So we're going to use about 15 ounces or so, and that's what we did there. Here we took a half a stick of butter, uh, cut it into slices. We're going to spread those slices around on there. That's going to give it a nice uh, buttery flavor. And next comes one of, uh, one of my favorite parts, which is another new item for us. So I'm going to put that lid on there, make sure that lid's on there well. And we're going to take this over and set it on top of the stove. Now we have a heat diffuser, a flame tamer as we call it. That's nothing new to us. We've had that for a while and what that does is when I set this on top, it's a way that the, the flame isn't directly on the bottom of that Dutch oven and burning and scorching everything on the bottom. So now I've got a little bit of a barrier there, a little bit of a, a gap and that's going to help diffuse that heat. So. But the real secret, the real fun, the key comes in at what we call the Dutch Dome. So this is a brand new item for us and it's a unique item. What it is, is you can use it multiple ways, but today we're going to use it over the top of the Dutch oven, just like that. It's a way that we can Dutch oven without having to use charcoal or anything else like that. We can do it on the stove top, but if you do love charcoal and that is your thing, you can still use a charcoal and use this Dutch Dome on top of it. It's a heat reflective material uh, and it's a flame resistant. It's not something that's going to start on fire and you're going to have problems, so don't worry about that. Um, and it works perfect with 10 and 12 inch Dutch ovens, which is what we've got here. So from there all you have to do is uh, turn on the, the stove below it and I like to go down to a low heat. You know, you'll be tempted to go to a medium cook a little bit quicker but even with that barrier there it will have a problem. So I'll turn it to a low heat go ahead and do it that way uh, and at the very end as, we, as it gets close to the end you can actually take the dome off, take the lid off, put the dome back on and it will brown up that top really nice because uh, it will force a lot of that heat in there. So the Dutch dome, the aluminum Dutch oven, two brand new items for us, two items we're really excited about. Look for them wherever you find your Camp Chef stuff and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it.
right, so we're just going to take the Dutch dome off. Uh, real simple and easy. Do be careful when you take that off. It can get a little hot, especially with the, the top there. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take that off. We'll haul this cobbler over to here. Still bubbling. That thing is piping hot and looking good. But uh, So there it is, ready to go. The, the peach raspberry cobbler.